let's discuss about the different types of instructions or the instruction classification based on instruction size we did one instruction classification and that was based on the type of operation for example the classification was that we were having data transfer instructions arithmetic instructions logical instructions so depending upon the type of instructions we classified into five different categories and today we have to classify the instruction is based on instruction size so what is the size of instruction in our microprocessor 8085 there are three possible instruction sizes one is an 8 bit instruction another is 16 bit instruction and the third is 24 bit instruction or we can say it is a 1 byte instruction 2 byte instruction and a 3 byte instruction Okay, so before discussing these different types of instructions based on instruction size, let me first clarify what is an instruction. Basically, instruction is a command to a processor. Command to a processor to perform some operation. And instruction has two parts. One is the operand. Another is opcode so opcode says the type of operation so what type of operation i have to perform for example add subtract and operand is the data on which i have to perform the operation so opcode and operand together form as an instruction okay opcode says the type of operation and operand says the data there are different mechanisms by which operand is specified in an instruction. Or we can say by which data is specified in the instruction. For example, this may be specified, this operand may be specified as a register. Let's say this is an instruction, add B. This is an assembly instruction of 8085 microprocessor which says add the contents of b to the accumulator and store the result in accumulator so here operand is b b is operand or we can say b contains the data and this operand is specified in the form of register okay the another instruction is let's say for example here we have mvi MVI B03H. So this instruction says that move the immediate value. Immediate is this constant value. This is constant value. Move this value into this register. So here operand is this is our data operand or source operand. And this is our destination. Destination operand. So operands are we have a destination operand and we have a source operand. Source means the data on which we have to perform the operation. And destination means where we have to store the final result. Here you can see the operand is specified itself. In this particular instruction, the operand that we require was specified as an address, a, a, as a register. So this register contains our value. If the value is present itself in the instruction, then this is another form of specifying the operand to an instruction. So there are different ways by which we specify operand to an instruction. So different ways of specifying operands to in an instruction different ways of specifying operands and this is called an addressing mode so what what do you mean by an addressing mode addressing mode means the different ways of specifying operands in an instruction so we have multiple addressing modes possible so one of the addressing mode is when the operand is present as a register Another addressing mode possible is when the operand is present itself, when the value is present itself. 
okay so there are other uh, uh, addressing modes possible also there are for example 10 to 15 addressing modes possible addressing modes however microprocessor 8085 uses only four addressing modes only four ways of specifying the data and one is called a register mode or register direct mode another where the data is present itself in the instruction is called immediate mode another one is called indirect mode and the fourth one is memory direct mode or memory mode so re this register mode and immediate mode we already discussed the example register mode is where the value of operand is present in the register and that register is given in the instruction immediate mode means the value of an operand is present in the instruction itself for example this particular instruction indirect mode before discussing the indirect mode let's discuss this memory mode mode for example the instruction is LDA 2050H. So this instruction says that this is one of the operand. And operand here is the memory address. This instruction says go to this address, this address, and take a data from this address and store the data in accumulator A. And in this particular instruction, the address on which, from which we have to get the data, the memory address, that particular address is present in the instruction itself. And this type of mode is called a memory mode. Then another mode is the indirect mode. Indirect mode is like the memory mode itself. That we have to go to the memory and get the data from the memory. In the direct mode, the memory location from which we have to get the data, that location, that address was present in the instruction. However, in the indirect mode, we don't give the memory address directly. However, we use a register peer, for example, HL, register peer. So this register peer stores the memory address from which we have to get the data. For example, there is a there is one instruction which we called mu c comma m. C is the register. Okay. And this m, wherever we have written m, it means it is an HL register. Okay. M means HL register. In all the 8085 microprocessor wherever in the instruction we have an m that means hl register peer so this instruction says take the data from this register from this register c and store the data in memory wire in memory in memory at an address and that address is stored in hl so this type of instruction uses the indirect memory mode so these are the different addressing modes that are present in the uh, in the microprocessor 8085. However, the possible modes are many. There are many addressing modes possible, but 8085 uses only these four addressing modes. And what is an addressing mode? Addressing mode is the method of specifying operands in an instruction. Okay. So basically, our aim in this lecture was to classify instructions into different types based on instruction size and as i said that there are three different types of instructions there is a one byte instruction one byte instruction is an instruction that that is stored in a single byte though or we can say it is an eight bit instruction okay Two byte instruction is an instruction that uses two bytes to store itself. And the three byte uses three bytes to store the instruction. Okay. So let's take the example of a one byte instruction. For example, here is one instruction. Mu C comma A. 
So this instruction says move the contents of A to the register C. And this is a single byte instruction. And the encoding of this instruction is 01001111. So it is an 8 bit instruction. If you write this in hexadecimal, in hexadecimal this will be 4 and this is F. So in hexadecimal this instruction will be 4FH. So this particular instruction. Likewise we have another instruction add B. This is also a 1 byte instruction. It says add the contents of B to A. A is accumulator and store the final result in A. And the encoding of this instruction is 1000000. So it will be 80. So ATH is this instruction. Okay. So these instructions are one byte instructions and in these instructions, if you can see that first is an operand. First we have an, uh, sorry, first we have an opcode followed by operands. Okay. And we know that our memory in 8085, it is a byte addressable memory. So this instruction will be stored in one byte. Fine. Then after one byte instructions, we have two byte instruction. So these are the instructions that occupy two bytes in the memory or we can say they are of 16 bits each. Some of the examples of two byte instructions are for example MVI A32H. This instruction says move this number to a register and this number is 32H. 32H means it is a hexadecimal number of two digits so it will be an 8 bit operand. Since it is a two, bi two byte instruction so one byte will be occupied by this immediate value. The another byte will be used to store the information about these two mu i a. So there are two bytes one byte and second byte. And in the memory this instruction will be stored like this. If for example, this is address 1, this is address 2, this is address 3. At address 1, we will store the first byte and at address 2, we will store the second byte. So for example, the encoding of this instruction is 3E and this is 32. So this is the encoding, 3E32. So this will be this byte will be stored at address 1 and this byte will be stored at address 2. Okay, so these are 2 byte instructions. Then after that we have 3 byte instructions. For example, there are some instructions that do the following. Load A 2050H. This says that go to this memory location this memory location and take the data from this memory location and place the data in accumulator. So here you can see this particular operand. This is of how many bits? 16 bits or we can say 2 bytes. So it occupies 2 bytes and this operand uh, opcode occupies 1 byte. So we have how many bytes? 3 bytes and this is a 3 byte instruction and the encoding of this instruction is this is 30 a 3 a 3 a this will be simply 20 and 50 this is first byte this is second byte this is third byte first byte okay and this is our operand in the memory it is stored like this the first byte will be 3 a the second byte will be the lowest address 50 please keep this in mind that we don't store the second byte as 20 but second byte is stored as 50 and the third byte will be stored as 20 okay so if i have to get this instruction from the memory i will first get 3 then i will get 50 then 20 and the instruction will be 3a 20 50 you should not write it as 3a 50 20 
because the second byte here you will write the second here in a steed the second address stores the lowest byte and the third address stores the highest byte this is a little indian format so we have already discussed it little indian format so where the lowest byte is stored at lowest address and the highest byte is stored at highest address and the opposite of this is big indian okay and in big indian representation highest most significant byte is stored at lowest address and least significant is stored at highest address okay so this was the three byte instruction and this was all about the different types of instructions that are there in the microprocessor 8085 based on the size of instruction so we have one byte instruction we have two byte instruction we have a three byte instruction now somebody will say that when our microprocessor is executing how will it know that the instruction that it has to execute it is one byte two byte or three byte so whether it is a one byte instruction it is a two byte instruction or it is a three byte instruction how will it know basically when an instruction when a microprocessor is getting the first byte let's suppose 3a from the encoding of this particular byte it will know whether this is a two byte instruction one byte instruction or three byte instruction so from the first byte itself it will get the information whether it is a two byte instruction or it is a three byte instruction and accordingly after decoding the first byte it will decide whether i have to use this byte only as an instruction or i have to get the extra bytes from the memory okay so this was all about the classification of instructions in 8085 based on instruction based on the size of an instruction